my fascinating life. Yes. Born March 20th, 1977 in Bradford, Yorkshire, to a Mr. and Mrs. X. We were a family, you know, as happy as most. Till Dad ran off with a receptionist in 1991, when I was 14, and at the local con. This mucked up my schoolwork for quite a while, but that's not why I ended up like this. No, Vincent's to blame for that. Good old Vince. Mum's boyfriend. You should see him. I mean, Mum's no Kylie Minogue, but Vincent? He's about 50 for a start, and he's one of these old dudes that wears cool gear and try to act young, but it doesn't work because they've got grey hair and fat bellies and they just make themselves pathetic. And as if that's not enough, Vince likes his ale. I suppose Dad must have been a bit of a bastard in his way. At least he wasn't a boozer. You should see the state Vincent's in when he and Mum come home from the club. He's got this very loud laugh, laughing at nothing, if you know what I mean. And he stands there with his arm around Mum, slurring his words, and he tells me to call him Dad. Dad? I wouldn't call that fat perk Dad if he was the last guy on earth. And the one thing that really bugs me is the way he leers at Mum, comes out with his very suggestive stuff about going to bed and rounding off a decent night. In all the years Dad was with us, I never once knew him to mention sex in my hearing, or even hint at it. This slob, he leers and winks and nudges with one eye on me to see how I'm taking it. And Mum just laughs and shoves him and says, oh, you are one. Makes me puke. He's changed her. That's one of the things I hate him for. She used to be one of those quiet people who were satisfied with the daily routine of their lives. She hardly ever went out at night. She didn't seem to want to. She's wrapped up in her family, I guess. She was always there when he needed her and I think she loved us. Me and Carol, I mean. Oh, I know how it sounds, me going on like this about Mum as if she wasn't entitled to a life of her own. Of course she's entitled. But what I'm saying is, why Vince? Carol's my sister, by the way. She's four years older than me, and she was always spoiled me. And when good old Vince moved in and Mum started changing, it was Carol who made life bearable for me. It was bad, but I could stand it with her there to support me. Then one night, when Mum was working late, something happened between Carol and Vince. I didn't understand it then, and she never told me anything about it. I have a fair idea now what it must have been. Anyway, she said something to Mum, and they had this flaming row, and it ended with Carol walking out of the house. She moved in with her boyfriend, and I was stuck on my own. I stuck it out till I finished school, but that was it. I got five GCSEs, which was a miracle when you remember what was going on at home, but I couldn't get a job. And there was no government money for school leavers. You're supposed to be on a training scheme, but there aren't enough places and I didn't get one. I'm sure mum would have supported me till I found something, but it wasn't long before Vince started on at me about living on his money. I wasn't living on his money. I'd have topped myself first. It was mum's money, but he went on and on getting nastier and nastier. And one night when I'd been out with my mates, he locked me out of the house. It wasn't even his house, but he locked the door and wouldn't let mum open it. I went round to Carol's. She let me spend the night. When I got home next morning, Vince started slapping me around the head for going off and worrying Mum. If you happen to know anybody who's looking for a 100% out-and-out bastard, I can let him have Vince's address. Anyway, that's how he was with me, and I guess Mum's scared of him because she didn't stick up for me, so I left. You'd have left too in my place. Anybody would. It's called making yourself homeless. And so here I am, sitting in this doorway, which is now my bedroom, hoping some kind punter will give me a bit of small change so I can eat. Good, eh? Huh?